Always wear the appropriate PPE for the job, guys. In this job, I wear my safety glasses, my earplugs, and a uh, respirator as needed. As always, these videos are for entertainment purposes only. Thank you, and enjoy. Hey guys, so yesterday I left off with uh, the start of the Res uh, Resilient channel. I'm gonna make a separate video on how to properly install that, just uh, just so you all know. Um, did the central vacuum, did the doorbell, did a few other things. Figured out what I'm gonna do, the air ducting, because um, I was gonna completely change that. Now I'm just going to abbreviate it just slightly. Um, by that, I'm just gonna make it smaller. It's gonna, still gonna look the same, just gonna be pushed a little bit further this way, which is what I wanna do. And uh, finish off, the, obviously, the installation. I want to vape barrier this across there because the, the, like I said, sound travels through air. I had a hard time speaking yesterday because I was so bloody tired. But I'm very happy with the way this was installed um, just because it just kind of turned out. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So what I've done here, guys, is each of the resilient channels, so these ones are a 24 inch spacing. The drywall, is, I'm gonna do, do the cutouts right now. I'm just gonna give them a vague cutout because everything is kind of floating. So it'll get me closer to use the drywall tool properly. And then uh, basically, it's really, really, really simple. Wood drywall screws on the studs, metal drywall screws into the resilient channel, which is metal obviously. And that's what's gonna hold the drywall, which 5 eighths sound deadening, fireproofing to the wall. You have to forgive me, I'm wearing a mask right now. And then uh, you want the screw to be in the middle. So when the sound hits this, it'll be transferred through the metal, uh, to the resilient channel, the Z channel into where the screw is, into the stud, and then it'll dissipate from there. That's the whole point of the resilient channels, to change how the sound travels through the walls. So this is the finished product of the install for the resilient channel. You use less screws, keep them all evenly spaced. And as I said earlier, you have your wood screws, which mount the resilient channel, the Z channel. And then you transfer it over to the center of the channel so that when the sound hits the drywall, it has to change the how it's going through the wall. And every time it changes the material that goes through the wall, it loses the ability to transfer the sound. So it gets slower and slower until it's almost nothing. And that's it. It's as easy as that.
this is your resilient channel or Z channel. 24 inch centers, going all the way across. Let's see here. I'm going around the, uh, the central back pipe. The air ducting is going to come across. I just took it down so I can get access to this area so that I can uh, do the um, soundproofing installation. So I rewired the doorbell. The transformer is now wired directly into that outlet, which we had for the alarm system. It goes up from the transformer to the chime, and then from the chime all the way back down. And you'll see that it splits into uh, another line, which then goes to the doorbell. And that is right over here. And obviously, it comes right back to the whole circuit. So all in all, it's a much better install, much cleaner, and it's all in one area. Not a mess like we saw yesterday, which right here you see where it was in the in the original outlet. And that was just a big cluster, like it was just ridiculous. And over here with all the wires all over the place, like to me, just a poor, poor install. So I, I'm gonna rip all this stuff out and then it's back to a nice clean install. Just wanna give you guys a little update. I've taken down the air ducting, as you can see, and I've started to readjust the, the ducting, bringing it over, pushing it up a little bit. Um, still haven't decided at the finish height for the air ducting, but I did get, did get it pushed over. And then as you can see, I, uh, if we walk over here, I got tired of walking past all those wires hanging down, so I put them in this location didn't really have any other, any other choices in the matter. Um, as far as I can tell, the doorway is going to be right about here. Now that may change a couple inches here and there. I do want it centered onto the room. However, I may choose otherwise, depending. But that's not, this is where it's going to stay right now. Again, I just wanted the wires all out of the way because they were at that perfect height. They catch you in the eye. So I felt it was pertinent that uh, I get those done, even though I do wear safety glasses. And that way, nobody gets hurt. Um, I am gonna throw up some more drywall, and then uh, I'm gonna get to working on the air ducting. Um, I haven't quite decided exactly where it's gonna sit. Um, I do, my goal is to keep it as high as possible so I can get that three quarters, three and a half inches, yeah, three and a half inches spacing for the trim all the way around the windows that is my goal but we're at this stage so i'm going to hit the time lapse and uh, get to working again So guys, we have drywall. I did want to get more done, but uh, I can only get so much. Very happy with the progress. Drywall looks good, except for this one. This was at the end of the night and I was just done. Um, so I, I messed this cut up quite a bit, quite a bit. Like obviously that line's messed up. I knew about where that was. I wanted to cut that out, except I cut it one lower. Again, weird. And then I didn't uh, take in consideration that upper piece because I wanted to have a full piece there. And uh, at first I made a small piece and I'm like, oh, I wanted to save that piece. And it was, it was a big old mess. But anyways, it's in, it's up. And the next uh, tomorrow I'll be going over this with another layer. And then that's done for this wall. It won't take very long to get that done. Um, now you notice that the air ducting is down. And I needed to get to I needed to get to this part here, right in the corner, 
and also I want to uh, get into all this all the uh, stuff that was over top of it um, so again tomorrow I'm gonna be doing that and uh, I'm just I'm probably gonna cut the plastic away from it because of the uh, the ducting uh, I don't want the plastic to uh, get warm at all because it, it might get a bit of a smell for the heating and whatnot um, so that's gonna be gone and then it'll just be uh, the insulation that needs to be done so this is a uh, rock saw it's sound deadening and it's uh, fireproof uh, the 5 8 drywall is sound deadening and it's fireproof um, I didn't put uh, 5 8 on the exterior walls because uh, it's got concrete and that I'm not too worried about I wanted to protect and insulate and soundproof the inside of the house um, those are solid core doors so they're like as in you don't they're not hollow so you, you hear the noise as a normal door would uh, sound very very hollow I got to build these um, they're scraps from a, a job and but that's for a different day so tomorrow the biggest thing is to throw the drywall up and then I'll have the spacing for that. The other reason why I took uh, that air duct thing down, and I was trying to figure this out today, because I wanted, this is a big thing for me, not for somebody else. The trim comes around here. So that's uh, three and a half. And this is where the air duct is currently. So I would have to add to with the drywall. Um, but if, and this is worst case scenario with drywall. So that's how far I'll come into uh, the uh, trim, which I didn't want to do, but it is what it is, and that's that. Now I fixed the doorbell, so it's upstairs now. Works a little better. Uh, I didn't need all that nonsense of wires and stuff. And uh, well, it's midnight. I'm going to uh, edit this video and get to bed, so I can start fresh in the morning. Um, the one thing I will have to do is like, I have to get longer screws for the outlets because they are as far out as I could pull them. I was gonna put extra wood and everything, but I felt that would be uh, a little harder and a little bit more annoying. So I just uh, left it this way. So let's get longer screws for the uh, drywall when it goes over top. I am gonna remove the outlets and then uh, I won't have to worry about that a second time. Um, all that being said, very happy with the progress. Wish it could go faster, but I'm working for quality, not quantity. So, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching, and let's see what we can get done tomorrow. I'd like to, like I said, drywall this, which shouldn't take too long, and then get on to insulating the ceiling, um, and then putting the, uh, I want a vapor barrier. But there's no need for that. So I'm probably not going to do that. The only reason why I have barrier did this well. Because I wanted to kind of keep the. Uh, the insulation out of the air. So to speak. Which it hasn't helped at all. Anyway. So I'm probably going to cut all the vapor barrier back. And. Uh, we'll get to. Insulating the ceiling. Putting the resilient channel. And then. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen with the air ducting. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff to do still. Okay. And the other thing I was thinking about doing with the air ducting, because I wanted to put a, a false bulkhead there. Kind of kind of give... I'm not sure about that, so don't don't quote me on it. And that's not going to happen for a while. But I was thinking if I could make this proper, going across here the way I want it to be, and I'm going to copycat it on this side for when I want to run future wires, because obviously the ceiling's going to be enclosed, that's what that big pipe is for, the ABS 4-inch pipe. That's going to be up in the ceiling there. That's why I put all the wires on the outside of it, all the uh, network wires. And I went a little nuts with the networking. Uh, I've got four there for the desk, uh, two here, one for the TV. Uh, one for the TV. Uh, again, if I wanted the TV on either side of the room, that's why. And then four for the bottom of it, which I'm going to put the TV here anyways, so... All the entertainment stuff is going to be uh, all wired in. And then that server rack goes right here. And then we have the doorway. So I've kind of got everything tentative of where I want it to be. I did the wiring here. So 
one of these this powers the uh the stair light this powers uh the room light which has yet to be determined these are just this is just power this is uh so the stairwell will get power from uh this room light and then uh that outlet there is a dual outlet as in there's two 15 amp breakers going to it so i'm gonna go back up and go over to the kitchen that is actually connected to that outlet, that outlet and then those two outlets and then those two outlets all in the same circuit and then that's it actually no there's one more on the circuit right in the corner and then a new circuit starts with all these outlets here so yeah yeah that does everything up to date crazy i didn't intend for this room to be the nexus of the house so to speak but it's really turned into that so asked my friends to help me move the couch um they have yet to get back to me you know how that is so the couch is going to go here coffee table is going to go there i want to leave this main area free and then uh like the coffee table's got wheels on it. So maybe I'll do something else with that. Well, who knows? Uh, as I said, then my desk is there. The server rack is here. And that's as much as I want to go in this room. Um, my mom might have some other ideas of what she wants. But that's about it for wrapping it up. So tomorrow, uh, just to reiterate, duct there, insulate the ceiling, do the resilient channel. And then uh, drywall. Thanks for watching, guys.